present. Oh no, it's just it's him. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to Far Cry 6. Uh, thank you so much for the support that I've been getting on the video so far. Uh, it's been pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the story. If you like the series, if you like the walkthroughs that I've been doing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join the channel, talk amongst yourselves in the comments. And yeah, if you're just joining me for the first time, I'm happy to have you. All right, let's go. This game, I think you can kind of uh, do your own narrative the way you want to. I can either talk to El Tigre or I can talk to Hanron first. And I think I'm gonna go talk to Hanron first because I want to get her stuff out of the way. And then I will talk to uh, El Tigre after that. Okay. I don't know what she just said. Alright, let's go meet her. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything, and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice okay. to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. All right, let's go. I need six volunteers. I talk to my people. Oh, I guess that's her. Big Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Elena. Mierda. <laughs> Elena Morales. Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No, you handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What did you possibly <laughs> want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use Lamarao's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You right. said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go get her people. Set my people free. I'm just take some of their medicine and stuff before I go. <laughs> if you want to ride to the ship, there's a farmer at Carbonell Farm. He can take you with his chopper. Just say you're with Dan? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. All right, buddy, let's go. He's actually running, wow. Most of them don't run. Come on. <laughs> Switch seats left and right. That boy is sticking his head out. I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a Kobe mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out real sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait, I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? All right. To disable the alarm. Wingsuit my way over there. out they're gonna get out I'm gonna free these other people as well thank you Gary. you got they put some of our fighters in a container over the hole save them. yeah I know man I just opened it <laughs> calm your butt oh 
That container. Okay. Woo! All right. I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake yep. Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna right see if I can go shoot now. those planes down. The planes are still coming, I guess. Oh, that's the boat right there. Ooh. Get on the gun. I just ran into the side of the what's it called? He kind of just ran into the side of the the island. Yelena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. And even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? I have to talk to Gilberto first. But you'll be hearing from me. You got my number. Gracias. You're not so bad, Annie. But you better keep an eye out. If you weren't on Admiral Benitez's radar already, you are now. Welcome to the real El Este. Dani, how is my legend? Getting old a bit too fast, if that's what you mean. Just the right one. Coño. Feel like bad shit's gone down here. Keep going. Take photographs of anything suspicious and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. We're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. All right. Good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter. But it does mean I can repair some of them. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that Biovira place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out for her. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. What is that red smoke? All right. Watch myself. Let's see if I can find her. Water. What the fuck is in the lake? 
Oh, okay, I guess I could take a picture of that. Binga. So many bacarajo. So wow. many dead bodies in the water. I need to take a picture for Lorenzo. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more okay. pics. All right, let's go get some more pictures. The water surrounding Yara have always been under siege, but now they are These people are sick. Really sick. Binga. That must be Gabriela. Binga. Binga. I guess she's gone. What the fuck? They doing to these poor people? I need more pics. Got his keys, and now I have to look around to find out what, what they are. What are they doing with the bodies? What they're hiding over here. I got a bad feeling about this place. Lights on. Wonder if anybody's home. Well, there's no lights over here. Well, what the heck? All of this bullshit about treating cancer. Wow. What are they doing to these poor people? This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Oh, wow, what are they doing? What the heck? Alright. A tigre. I got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Well, I can't help those people. I tried. But the glass is bulletproof, apparently. We were just kids, El Tigre. We were back. <laughs> Lorenzo. I took pictures of that place Horon was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Liberta and La Morale are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing wow. something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen oh, no. up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents <laughs> and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned I a think lesson she made her point. on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members. How the heck did he get inside? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, <laughs> Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. <laughs> okay, I can go down here now and go look for Carlito. I think he's over there.
That took me away. Just a little bit. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Watch it. Come on, I don't bite. Is that Diego? Sorry about that. Poor kid never had a chance. Oh, he's that right there. That was a glorious day. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum <laughs> used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum, and three walked out. Alright, I guess we gotta go find Carlito. Oh, wow. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking tank? Por supuesto! What were you expecting? He's Carlito! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess so. Carlito's a tank, not a person. Interesting. I guess I gotta. I can't exactly carry I gotta here. fix him. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. All right, let me fix Carlito real quick. <laughs> El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre. What? El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre. Jump. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre. El Tigre and Carlito together again. <laughs> Baby Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. I've got a gun. I like how he repeated that line three different times. that oh I think it's just a random person oh no it's just it's him <laughs> Rizzo, you came what the fuck is he doing here I wanted him to see Carlito for himself <laughs> <Mi compai. laughs> how many years since you've been down the mountain too many Carlito and I we have a lot of good memories time to make some new ones you should join us, Romano. Yeah, man. Help out. <laughs> War is over. When we are all free. See! <laughs> hey, go. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> War is over okay. when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. Ah! <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. <laughs> He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito. Maybe. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to end this video for now. Thank you guys for watching. The next two videos, or the next video, I'm trying to do, this, do as many missions as I can as possible, so the next video is probably going to be me helping out the other people, La Morale, with the missions that they want to do. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.